Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we will be discussing about the synthesis and degradation of histidine. Histidine is an essential amino acid and it is glucogenic in nature. This is the structure of histidine. It has an imidazole ring in its structure, that is its R group. And the three letter representation of histidine is HIS and one letter representation is capital H. Now let us move on to the biosynthesis of histidine. The first step of biosynthesis of histidine is the condensation between an ATP molecule and PRPP molecule to form N1,5'-phosphoribosyl ATP. During this step, a pyrophosphate is released. So if you look here, this much group of phosphate from PRPP along with one of the hydrogen of this, um, this ATP gets removed as pyrophosphate. Then, after the removal of pyrophosphate, these two condenses to form this compound. Condensation occurs that this nitrogen and this carbon condenses, joins to form this bond here. As, uh, as we have removed, as there is a removal of one hydrogen from here, there is a change of valency. So, a double bond is required here to maintain the valency. So, the double bond shift here and forms this double bond NH. Thus, this structure is formed, thus this compound is formed, that is N15'-phosphoribosyl ATP is formed. N15'-phosphoribosyl ATP thus formed, then in presence of pyrophosphohydrolase produces N15'-phosphoribosyl AMP. The process which happening here is that um, this much group of phosphate gets removed as pyrophosphate and this structure is formed and this compound is formed, that is N15'-phosphoribosyl AMP is formed. There is only removal of pyrophosphate. The next step, this N15'-phosphoribosyl AMP in presence of phosphoribosyl AMP cyclohydrolase forms N15'-phosphoribosyl 4-amino 5-amino imidazole 4-carboxamide ribonucleotide. Here, in presence of water, cleavage occurs. That is, this bond between this nitrogen and this carbon breaks by the addition of water and one of the hydrogen of this water molecule attaches with this nitrogen to form NH and oxygen and the other hydrogen remaining here attaches with this nitrogen and forms NH2 there and the remaining oxygen binds with this carbon forming double bond O. Thus this structure is formed that is N15'-phosphoribosyl 4-amino 5-amino imidazole 4-carboxamide ribonucleotide. In the next step this compound gets isomerized to another form. This is the isomerized product that is N15'-phosphoribulosyl 4-amino-5-amino imidazole 4-carboxamide ribonucleotide. This compound in presence of glutamine amidotransferase gets cleaved to imidazole glycerol 3-phosphate and 5-amino imidazole 4-carboxamide ribonucleotide. What happens here is glutamine comes and donates its amino group to the structure and leaves as glutamate. So if you look here, this glutamine donates its um, amino group to this carbon and forms a single bond NH2 there. This oxygen leaves with this glutamate. So this oxygen leaves with this glutamate and a single bond NH2 is formed in between this carbon, formed on this carbon. So uh, then cleavage occurs. That is cleavage occurs between this carbon and this nitrogen. Then what happens is that this two hydrogen of NH2 attaches with this nitrogen and forms NH2 there. And this much group is cleaved. That is 5-amino imidazole 4-carboxamide ribonucleotide is cleaved off. So this much portion is left. Now a cyclic compound forms in this structure. That is this nitrogen which, uh, which has now donated its two hydrogen to this nitrogen and lift so uh, now this nitrogen attaches with this carbon and forms a double bond there so this nitrogen and this carbon attaches and forms a double bond there and that bond is shown here that nitrogen and this carbon then this carbon this nitrogen bond is shown here then this NH bond NH and this CH2, CH2 joins together on this bond. So here this CH2 donates its hydrogen, one of its hydrogen to this carbon in order to maintain valency and forms a double bond in between. So CH double bond CH and it is shown here. Then this 
carbon this nitrogen bond is shown here then the remaining portion that is this cc bond is shown here thus imidazole glycerol 3 phosphate is formed this imidazole glycerol 3 phosphate then undergoes dehydration to form imidazole acetole 3 phosphate here removal of water molecule occurs that is oxygen from this carbon atom and two hydrogen from this carbon atom occurs from this group occurs and a double bond will be resulting in between this carbon and oxygen and is shown here this two hydrogen joins with this carbon to form CH2 and imidazole acetole 3 phosphate is formed the imidazole acetole 3 phosphate thus formed then undergoes transamination in presence of transaminase enzyme to form histidinol phosphate here this keto group gets changed to an amino group and forms this compound that is histidinol phosphate this histidinol phosphate then in presence of phosphatase enzyme forms histidinol here removal of phosphate group occurs that is this much group of phosphate removes with one of the hydrogen of water molecule as phosphate and then OH group of the water molecule attaches with the CH2 and forms CH2OH thus histidinol is formed in the next step this histidinol gets converted to histidine in presence of dehydrogenase enzyme here two molecules of NAD plus gets converted to two molecules of NADH and 2H plus and also here addition of water occurs. What happens here is two of the hydrogen, two hydrogen of the water molecule goes with one of the NAD plus as NADH plus H plus. Then these two, that is these two hydrogen attached to this carbon leaves with another molecule of NAD plus as NADH plus H plus and this remaining oxygen of water attaches to this carbon as double bond O. Thus histidine is formed. So this is all about the synthesis of histidine.